Marianne Buddy, the Bishop of the District of Columbia, who oversees the church that the president just used as a photo op. Bishop Buddy, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, what are your thoughts as you, as you saw what happened and as you look at these images now of, of so many Americans uh, crying out in the streets for law and order, law and order that is applied equally to all of us, uh, regardless of, of color, regardless of economic status? Um, I want to thank you for letting me be on this, uh, be part of this conversation. Let me be clear. Uh, the president just used a Bible, the most sacred text of the Judeo-Christian tradition, and one of the churches of my diocese, without permission, as a backdrop for a message antithetical to the teachings of Jesus and everything that our churches stand for. And to do so, as you just said, he sanctioned the use of tear gas by police officers in riot gear to clear the churchyard. I am outraged. The president did not pray when he came to St. John's, nor, as you just articulated, did he acknowledge the agony of our country right now, and in particular that of the people of color in our nation who wonder if anyone ever, anyone in, in, in public power will ever acknowledge their sacred worth and who are rightfully demanding an end to 400 years of systemic racism and white supremacy in our country. And I just want the world to know that we in the Diocese of Washington, following Jesus and his way of love, do not, we distance ourselves from the, from the incendiary language of this president. Uh, we follow someone who lived a life of nonviolence and sacrificial love. We align ourselves with those seeking justice for the death of George Floyd and countless others through the sacred act of peaceful protest. And I... <laughs> I just can't believe what my eyes have seen tonight. You had no idea he was um, going to do that. I had no idea. I was, I was watching the news with everyone else, and as you might imagine, I have been fielding out just phone calls and emails and texts of outrage from my people and from people across the country wondering what on earth did we just witness. Um, I... And I, 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 I hear everything else that has been said tonight, but I was allowed to eavesdrop on the first part of your conversation, which is equally significant in terms of the symbolism of our civic institutions. But what I am here to talk about is the, is the abuse of sacred symbols for the people of faith in this country to, to, to justify um, to language rhetoric an approach to this crisis that is antithetical to everything we stand for.